It's YouTube Wednesday! What I have here is I have a mask. And I'm going to do, um, this is a deluxe airbrush from Harbor Freight. Uh, I just nipped the plastic, but I haven't opened it up yet. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to paint this entire mask with this airbrush. Um, I'm going to run latex paint through it through here. I'm going to clean it after that. And then I'm going to run ink through it. So this is going to get a, a workout. And then I'm going to break it down and clean it all the way and get it ready for next time. So let's get this opened up. I'm not a packaging saver. Uh, these are instructions. Cool. So for me, this here, um, I take this back piece off right away. And I don't keep that. Uh, I take the cover off. I don't keep that. You probably want to keep those, but they just kind of get in my way. Uh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then uh, I take this out. And this is actually a nice little box for stuff. From my compressor, all right, um, I have just a line with a quick connect. At the end of that quick connect, that female end, I have a male splitter here that goes to two different airbrushes. Uh, one goes to this air. This is the same setup I use for makeup and for painting. Uh, one goes to a Harbor Freight $10 quick change airbrush. Not going to mention that much right now. And the other one goes to this airbrush, which is a Pache H, which is a single action airbrush that I use mostly for mask painting because it can handle thicker stuff, no problem. Uh, but I'm actually going to take off the H today and put on the uh, Harbor Freight Deluxe Airbrush. This is a, now this package is dirty, it's been in my drawer for a while. This is a Harbor Freight hose that I always buy. It's a longer hose. Uh, it's 10 foot. Um, so I always get that. But also on it is the connection that you need, because this piece comes with it. This is the connection that you need to go from your quarter inch, which is right out of your compressor, to other quarter inch fitting. So let's get this guy opened up and assembled. This is the line that comes from my compressor. There we go. Don't drop your airbrush on the ground. It's bad for it. And I should. Plenty of air. So in this airbrush, uh, I'm about in this bottle that comes with the airbrush. I'm about to put green latex mask paint. I'm not straining it or anything. The only thing close to straining is that that's a pretty small tip. So giant chunks won't come out. And it goes right away. All right. So I'm actually going to back this up a little bit. My needle back means I get a wider cone pattern and I get more paint coming out. Either I'm clogged or I'm out of paint. Yes, I'm out of paint. Happy day.
waiting on that to dry. So that is this color. Uh, and I'm just gonna put some black in with this green and then shoot in a little bit of uh, shading with the airbrush. That's a magic trick. All right, so now I want to put another color in here and uh, go crazy. I'm now switching from water-based paint, which was the latex mask paint, which is terrible for your airbrush, to alcohol-based paint, which is not, not awesome for your airbrush, but it's thinner, so it's easier to do. Um, but as soon as the water-based and the alcohol-based touch, they clot. So I have to make sure that this is really clean before I go alcohol-based. I have rinsed this out with water, and now I'm going to rinse it with alcohol. There's zero pigment in this right now, so I'm making that transition from it having alcohol, uh, having water in it, to having alcohol in it. I ran this until it was dry. I want to run that till it's dry, and now I'm going to put water, uh, alcohol in. It's 99% alcohol. If this flows through pretty good, kind of no problem, then your ink ought to work. And also, spraying 99% alcohol in the air kills all the COVID-19. Just kills it dead. In the air, like a mosquito in flight. Dying. It, it's not good for us either, for the record. Alright. So, that alcohol from the bottle to the bottle, I'm okay with that. I'll leave that here because I'm going to mix something up. Uh, there's no specific ratio. I just don't want it to be 100% black ink. Let's say that much. Great. Because that helps me get rid of this bottle of alcohol. 
This is my ink wash. I'm looking at how it goes up on the sides and how thick it is. That's what I want to see. The mask is back and it's all dry. Uh, and now we're done with water-based paint on it. We're going to go to alcohol-based paint. And this is the ink wash I just mixed up. And I'm going to do a technique called a rub out where I rub this off afterwards. So I have to have my rag prepared for the rub out. Airbrush is full of alcohol and ink. Roughly, let's say 15% ink to 85% alcohol. Hope that math was right. And now I ruin my paint job. Just ruin it, a wreck it. Like the wreck it Ralph of paint jobs. Make sure this is good and wet. Now I'm rubbing that off. That's going to leave me with some black, and that's why I painted him brighter than I thought he should have been. Because I can leave that black on there and get exactly what I want. And if I don't like how much black it has on it, I just wipe off more. And I can take off or leave on as much as I want. I just kind of want to be even on both sides. But look at the drama that I have in this now where I did not have that before. The transition from water-based to alcohol-based in one airbrush is important. It's important that you don't mess it up. You brush it, you don't clean, then you clog. Alcohol, so this won't clean it. This, this will. I'm clean. Good thing is the alcohol evaporates pretty fast. Once again, I'm going to run that till it's dry. Alcohol, not that hard to do. Just like I went from alcohol, water to alcohol, now I'm going to go back to water. I'm just going to put water in this. It's just tap water. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's not going to mix with any of my paints. Sprays water, we're good, but there wasn't a lot of pigment in there, remember. I'm smelling for alcohol, like I'll, I'll lift it up and I'm smelling for alcohol. No alcohol. So now it's good. Run until it's a little dry. using the air from the airbrush. The water doesn't evaporate as fast, so the air helps. Okay, now I'll grab the uh, high gloss. The gloss I'm gonna use is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. He's going to dry just like that. I'm 
shooting YouTube Wednesday right now. But it's Tuesday, and that means I'm up till YouTube 2 in the morning yeah. editing this video. It's Rob coming out of the bathroom. He made stuff. Bye, guys. You don't want what he made, though. <laughs>